I am going to be setting up the 286S for my voice through my SM7B in my room to my preferences. Our preferences, our voices, our rooms are all going to be different. So that's going to change what your settings are going to be. First thing I have is the gain. And big surprise, the gain is set at 100%. I don't have phantom power on because I am not using a cloud fet lifter head. I don't have the 80 hertz high pass filter on. If I did, this is what it would sound like. I don't like 80 hertz high pass filter, so I just leave that off. Then we get to the compressor section, and this is going to be vastly different from person to person based on how much compression they want, based on how loud and how dynamic their voice is, and based on how far away they are from the microphone. I am going to increase my drive to about 2 on the dial. I am not saying 2 o'clock. I am saying 2. Then I am going to increase the drive to about 3 and a half. And most of the time, I am getting no compression because I don't want too much compression. The meter is showing no lights. But if I get right on top of it, we start to get a little bit of compression there. The meter starts to show the gain reduction. That is how I would set up the compressor section. As far as the de -er, because the SM7B is a relatively dark microphone, I wouldn't be using this too much because the 7B really doesn't need it. You don't need to darken it up. You don't have any super sharp S's. So for the most part, I would leave this alone for this microphone. Let's go to the next section, which is what? The enhancer. This, again, is going to be very different from person to person based on their voice and based on their preferences. If you want a lot of low mids, you would increase the low frequency detail. You can hear where it is boosting the frequencies in my voice. Ho, ho, ho. I start to sound like one of the characters from Home Improvement. Ho, ho, ho. Tim Allen, that's his name. And then the high frequency detail is just... <laughs> Goodness gracious, <laughs> that is a lot of top end. I don't like all that top end. If you want to brighten up the 7B, I would bring this up just a few notches. I am going to put it at about 9 o'clock or 2 on the dial. I don't think this needs much low frequency detail. Maybe if you want a bit of that, bring it up to two or three just to get a little bit of that V shape because I know a lot of people love that. Boosts it in the bass, the low mids, and then you get a boost in the treble and air as well. So that is how I would set that up. Then we have the noise gate section and again, this is going to be very different from person to person based on how much room tone, based on how much ambient background noise they are trying to block out. I'm going to start by increasing the threshold until the gate closes when I am not talking. But I also do not want the gate to open when I do stuff like tap on my desk. I have this set to about minus 30, minus 30, and then I am going to be quiet and increase the ratio until the background noise is at a level that I am happy with. So let me shut up and increase the ratio dial. Right about there is where I would set it. So we have the threshold at minus 30 and the ratio set it maybe 1.6, 1.7. The last dial the DBX has is the output gain. Do not copy this. I just have this set so the processed and unprocessed audio are fairly similar in level. Now I have bypassed the processing on the 286S, and now this is the processed version of the audio. Again, this is the unprocessed. You can tell it doesn't have as much low mids. It doesn't have as much top end. And now I have the processing on. Sounds a bit more common, a bit more V-shaped, a bit brighter. You can hear the compression a little bit. You can hear the gate when I stop talking like William Shatner. Again, bypassed and with the processing. 
So there you go. Hopefully you got some insight out of that. Do not just copy these settings. You're going to need to make the decision what kind of tone you want for your recording, what don't you like about how your DBX sounds right now, and then fine tune it. But as far as setting it up, that is how I would set up the 286S for the SM7B. And I am running it line into the Behringer UM2. So probably noisier than what your recording would sound like. Wow, Past Bandrew, thank you so much for spending so much time doing a thorough walkthrough setting up the DBX-286S with the SM7B. I did notice something while editing that. You didn't hear much benefit from the noise gate. That's because the UM2 had this underlying zzzz, so you didn't hear almost any benefit from the noise gate. I'm not going to re-record it, just know... That is an issue with the setup that I was using.